All right, hey everybody, welcome to Denver Parks and Recreation at Home. My name is Kelly Garrison with Denver U Sports and Citywide Sports. Today we're gonna to be doing some basketball drills to work on your ball handling in a small space, all right? These are drills that you can do whether you have access to a basketball court, you go out to the parks that are open now, or you can even do these in your driveway or your basement, all right? So all we need to do is make sure that our space is nice and flat and safe. All right, you wanna take a look around, make sure that there aren't any objects that are breakable that you can bump into or break. Um, once you've determined that your space is safe, we can go ahead and get into our warm-up, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do when we start our warm-up, we want to warm up our fingertips, all right? When you're playing basketball, no matter if you're shooting the ball, if you're dribbling the ball, you always wanna keep the ball under control with your fingertips, all right? Uh, basically, you wanna keep it off of the palm of your hand, all right? You have better control when it's on those fingertips. So the first thing we're gonna do to warm those up are just ball slaps, all right? Hit it as hard as you can, and it's gonna to start to make your hands tingle a little bit, okay? So keeping the ball under control, nice and strong. We're gonna do 15 more of these, all right? Count every time you hit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, speed it up. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Cool, all right, so if you've did the, done that properly, it should feel like you have like bees or tingles in your fingers, all right? That means that the blood is flowing and you're getting ready to work, all right? So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do some ball taps, all right? This is gonna work on your touch. The first, the pounds, that's, that's power, right? That's slapping really hard. These taps are gonna be nice and light on your fingertips. And to start, you're gonna go ahead, hold the ball straight out in front of you, keeping the ball on the fingertips, and just tap it back and forth, all right? Once you start to get the feel of that, I'm gonna go ahead and spin back here to the front. Drop it down in front of you, all right? Your arms are gonna be pretty straight, but they're not gonna be completely locked out, all right? You wanna keep a little bit of bend in that elbow. So we're down nice and low. Now notice my legs, my knees are bent. I'm athletic, I'm ready to move, all right? My knees aren't locked, my back's not all hunched over. This is similar to basically if you're gonna be playing defense, it's kind of the same position, all right? So then we're gonna come back up to the middle. Your shoulders should start getting a little bit sweaty. Your breath is gonna start speeding up a little bit. You've got the ball over top. Your arms are getting tired. Go ahead, bring it back down. We're gonna go all the way down and all the way back up. Nice and smooth. All right, three, two, one, good. All right, so those are ball taps. All right, you should start to feel a little bit warmer. Um, so now we're gonna get into some dribbles now that our hands and arms are warmed up, okay? So these are ball pounds. A uh, similar idea to when we were doing the ball slaps, but this time we're gonna actually be pushing the ball into the ground, okay? Notice I said push, it's not a slap. Okay, we're not playing volleyball, we're not playing spike ball. You wanna control it with your palms and push it down into the ground, okay? So, and you can play with the height. You can vary this, all right? So you're gonna see, I'm gonna do some of these that are really, really high, and then some of them where I'm pushing it really hard down low, all right? So we're gonna start, we're just gonna go for about 20 seconds and then we're gonna switch over to our other hand. All right, here we go, ball pounds. Ready, go. All right, notice that I am in an athletic position. My eyes are up, I'm not watching the ball. I'm not slapping the ball. I'm just pushing it down into the ground. All right, start to bring it up a little bit. You wanna keep the ball nice and close to your body. All right, keeping it under control. Bring it down nice and low. Right by that foot. Very good. Go ahead, switch over to the hand that you weren't using. Same thing. Hand that's not dribbling is up. All right, you're ready to knock those defenders' hands away if they come after you try to steal the ball. Push it into the ground nice and low. Good, bring it up high. Try hard to keep your eyes off the ball. Keep it up, looking down for it. All right, five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, so now that our hands are warmed up, we're gonna get into some stationary ball handling drills. So stationary means that you're not, you're not moving around, you're not moving down court. I'm actually gonna be staying right here in this like eight by eight box. Okay, so again, this is great if you're still working out at home, if you're working out in your basement, if you have limited space. These are all things you can do to improve your game with just a li limited resources, right? All right, so first drill we're gonna do is stationary ball handling. These are called ball wraps. Okay, I'm working on keeping the ball nice and close to my body. My feet are about shoulder width apart, okay? And I'm keeping the ball on my fingertips. 
So you're gonna do this for about 30 reps. I'm about halfway, so we're gonna do 15 more, and then we're gonna switch it, all right? We're not gonna stop. We're automatically gonna throw it in reverse and go the other way. So we're about eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, switch. All right, here we go. Now we're going through to the other way. So this one, this is great for you younger players. Start out nice and slow, start to get the rhythm. And then as you get better, start to push yourself. Go a little bit faster. All right, you might make a mistake, you might lose the ball, but that's okay. You're not really gonna get much better if you're kind of staying in that comfort zone, all right? So go ahead and challenge yourself. Let's do five more as fast as you can go. Three, two, one. Very good. So that's ball wraps around the waist. So now we're gonna move down and we're gonna do the same motion wrapping around our body, but we're gonna be down at our ankles, okay? So on this one, just similar to what we did with the ball taps, you wanna make sure that your knees are bent, your feet are about shoulder width apart, okay? We don't want them too close together because we're gonna incorporate some other movements later. Um, and your knees are bent, you're athletic, and your eyes are up, right? You're looking down cork. So again, we're gonna wrap the ball around our ankles, keeping as close to our legs as possible without losing control. And we're gonna do this for 30 times. Switch, other direction, throw in reverse. So we're gonna stay in that same position, but now we're gonna do a drop step, okay? So on this one, this is why I was telling you to keep your feet a little bit apart so you have some room to work. So on this one, this is a, round, a wrap around the ankles with a drop step. So we're here. My first revolution around my body is gonna be feet together. And then I'm gonna drop my right foot and go just around my left. Feet together. And then I'm gonna drop my left and go around my right. So we speed it up together, drop, together, drop. Together, drop, together, drop, together, drop. We speed it up. Let's do this for about 10 more seconds. And we're gonna throw it a different reverse. Go the opposite direction. Four. One, other way. Very good. So those are ball wraps around the ankles and then ball wraps around the ankles with a drop step, okay? So the next one we're gonna do, we're gonna do ball wraps again, but we're gonna go around our head, okay? So the key to this drill and not hitting yourself in the nose is to make sure you keep your head still. All right, we want the ball revolving our, around our head, not our head revolving around the ball, okay? So we're gonna start here, go behind, out in front, and just like that. Sometimes you'll see younger players, they get really worried about, uh, they wanna go fast, so the ball will get up here, and they're not actually going around their head at all. Make sure you take the time, do it right, bring the ball right in front of your nose, and then you can worry about speed once you have the pattern. Okay, let's do four more. Three, two, one. Switch, other way. Good job, it's very important that all these drills, that you're doing both your left hand and your right hand, and you're doing both directions. And as a basketball player, you have to be able to move both ways. Here we go, so five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Ball wraps around the head. We did ball wraps around the ankles. We just started with ball wraps around the waist. Now we're gonna string them all together for a drill called around the world. So in around the world, you're gonna be changing levels. You're gonna start here in the middle, wrapping the ball around your waist, and then you're gonna drop down and go around your ankles, back up to your waist, and up to your neck. Waist, ankles, waist, neck. Good, so that's your Around the World series. All right, so everybody go ahead, grab a drink of water if you need one, take a deep breath. All right, everybody's back. So here we go, this drill's called the choo-choo train. So in this drill, your stance is gonna be a little bit wider than shoulder width. All right, this is gonna be that same stance you use on defense, right? You're ready to move either way. In this drill, we're not going anywhere, but you are gonna be shifting your body from left to right. So in the choo-choo train, um, for me, I'm gonna start 
with my right hand in front of my body and my left hand in the back. So it's like a staggered grip. And the ball is gonna be between my legs, all right? I'm nice and low with my eyes up. And the motion of this drill is uh, my left hand is gonna bring the ball all the way around the front, pass it to the right. Right's gonna go behind until they meet in the middle. And so for this first one, this is the beginner level, you're gonna drop it and switch your hands, okay? So watch that again. So we start with the ball, left hand on the back. Left's gonna bring it all the way to the front to the right. Drop, catch, wrap it around. Drop, catch, wrap it around. Drop, catch, wrap it around. And they call it the choo-choo train because once you start to get going a little bit faster, it sounds like a train going on the tracks. All right, so let's try to do, let's do 10 of those and then we'll move it up a notch and we'll take it up to the next level, okay? Very good. Start to hear that rhythm a little bit, okay? So, choo-choo train with a bounce. As that starts to become a little bit easier for you, we're gonna take that bounce away, all right? So your hands are gonna have to be really, really quick on that transfer in the back. So it's gonna be that same stance that we started with, right? Left hand in the back, right hand in the front. Wrap it around, grab it with your right. Instead of dropping it, you're just gonna switch it really quick, okay? Quick switches. So same thing. It helps a little bit if you toss it up. So you're back here in the back. Give it a little flick. Give it a little bit more hang time and then I'll help you get your hands around the time, all right? So let's do 10 of these. Here we go. So those are your two choo-choo trains. Choo-choo without a bounce, choo-choo with a bounce. And now we're gonna work on our figure eights. All right, so figure eights, same stance, nice, nice and athletic. And it's gonna be that same staggered grip, right? With your right hand in the front, left hand in the back. But instead, the ball is never gonna actually switch from front to back. We're just gonna pass it, all right? You'll see what I mean here. The ball is gonna make essentially like an eight pattern through my legs, okay? Just like that. So here we go. I'm gonna start with the ball in my right hand, pass it to the left. And then left's gonna go through the middle for pass to the right. Around the front, through the middle, around the front, through the middle. All right, here we go. So nice and slow to start. Keeping the ball on your fingertips. You can move your body side to side. Helps you establish your rhythm. All right, once you get that rhythm down, start to speed it up. All right, like I said earlier, we're gonna switch directions. So instead of passing the ball from the front to the back, this time I'm gonna pass it from the back to the front. Okay. So to begin, left hand, throw it in reverse. We're gonna go around my left leg from the back, pass it to the front. Same thing on the right, passing back to front. So next drill that we're gonna do, we're actually gonna start dribbling the ball here. And we wanna make sure that we're staying under control and we're keeping that ball at our fingertips, all right? Your legs are probably get, starting to get a little bit tired. It might just be me, but I'm betting yours are too um, at this point. But you really, really wanna focus on using your quads, using your hamstrings and your glutes to keep your body down, right? We wanna make sure that when we're tired, we don't lock our knees out and start letting our back hunch, all right? We wanna stay nice, slow, and athletic and ready to move, okay? So this drill, I'm gonna stay completely on the right side of my body. So this one, the ball is gonna be in my right hand and I'm gonna be dribbling just around my right foot. So keys to success on this drill. It's a little bit tricky at first because there is gonna be like a part where you have to be really quick and push it around from the back to the front. The closer you can keep the ball to your foot, the better off you're gonna be, okay? Um, and it's okay when you're starting, if you have to look at the ball a little bit to make sure that it doesn't go shooting off, off this way and that way, that's okay. But as soon as you start to feel comfortable, that's when you're gonna to wanna to push yourself. Pick a spot on the floor, pick a spot on the wall, and try to keep your eyes off the ball, right? So that way you're more ready for a game. You're able to see what's going on down the court and not just staring at the ground, okay? So here we go, right hand, right foot. And I'm gonna to try to go around about 10 times, all right? Here we go. One, two, three. You already know the drill. We're gonna do the same thing on the left side, okay? So my left hand, my right hand is my dominant hand. I don't call 
call my left hand my weak hand. I call it my less dominant hand. <laughs> um, but it's definitely on the scouting report. It's not that great. So bear with me here, okay? It's the same thing. We're gonna go around our left foot 10 times. All right, push yourselves. Try to keep your eyes up. Here we go. Cool, not so bad, right? So if you notice, my hand that was not doing any dribbling, it was up and it was ready, right? It's kind of like a counterbalance, but it's also in a game, you're gonna be protecting your dribbling hand and the ball from defenders who are trying to reach it and swipe. You have a tendency, right, when you're tired, it would be really easy to do this drill with one hand on your knee, lean it over. Pay attention, make sure you're not falling into that bad habit. Keep that off hand active, okay? Cool, so now we're gonna string it all together. So we dribbled around our right foot, dribbled around our left foot. Now we're gonna do that same pattern that we did the figure eight, but we're gonna dribble, okay? So same thing, we're back in that athletic stance. Shake your legs out a little bit. I know they've been working hard here. All right, athletic stance. I'm gonna start with the ball in my right hand. I'm gonna bring it around the back just because that's what I prefer. Like I said, make sure that you're doing both directions. I'm gonna cut that out just for time's sake. I trust y'all can do that on your own. Um, but yeah, here we go. Every time the ball crosses through the middle, I'm gonna count that as a rep. Okay, so we're gonna do 10 total. Here we go. All right, so there is your figure dribble eight. Like I said, remember, make sure you switch directions, you're going both ways. All right, so now we're gonna get into some of the, the more tricky, tricky basketball things. Um, these, are, these are drills that aren't necessarily gonna be moves that you do in a game. They are still good for your hand-eye coordination, and they're kind of fun, just in general, right? So the first one we're gonna do, this one's called knee bridge. Uh, so, you're gonna get down in a kneeling position, and here it is from the side. So, my right leg is up, and I have a window, right? This square right here, this is where I'm gonna bounce the ball, okay? And I'll show you both views, just so you can kind of get a feel of it. Um, to start from the beginning, this is your bridge. The ball is gonna have to go under the bridge. Um, basically, you're going to hit the ball three times on each side. So one, two, and then on the third tap, you're going to pass it under the bridge, and then move your hands quickly to the other side do the same thing. Tap, tap, pass. Tap, tap, pass. Tap, tap, pass. Tap, tap, pass. I'll speed it up. You can move your knee out of the way a little bit if you have to. But the faster you go, the closer it's going to stay to the bridge. All right, making sure we're keeping the ball on our fingertips. Let's do eight more. Every time it goes through, we're gonna count it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so the next drill we're gonna do, this is called the rocker drill. And you may have seen this one. This one's gotten up really popular here in the last few years. This is the drill that Steph Curry is always doing on the sideline before games. Um, this is a really great drill. Even before you start your workout, this is awesome to get your fingertips and your body ready to move, all right? So there's two different directions that the rocker dribble can go. Um, basically, you can either go side to side, or you can go front to back, okay? So the details on this are, you're keeping your hand on top of the ball the whole time, all right? So sometimes you might wanna carry the ball to keep it under control. In a basketball game, in a real live game, that's gonna be a violation, right? That's a carry, it's a turnover, you're playing defense now, okay? So in a rocker dribble, you wanna make sure that you're keeping your hand on the top half of the ball the whole time. Again, using your fingertips to control the direction, and then you're gonna be giving a little bit with your body. As you're changing directions, you're gonna be rocking from side to side, and that's how it got its name. All right, so I'll show you the rocker dribble side to side, and we'll do that for 20, and then we're gonna go rocker dribble front to back, and then we'll do a combo where we throw them both together, okay? So, rocker dribble side to side, here we go. Athletic stance. Here we go, 20 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Speed it up. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Switch hands. We're over on our left. Same thing. You can play with how big it is, right? You can do really, really big, wide rocker dribbles that are out of frame, or you can do little tiny ones get comfortable doing all of them, right? So then that way you can get faster and have better ball handling skills, okay? So here we go, left hand, rocker dribble 20 times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good, back 
back over to our right hand. We're gonna jump right into it, front to back. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Switch over to your left hand, same thing, 20 times, here we go. One, two, three. Good. Rock your dribble side to side, rock your dribble front to back, and now we're going to throw them together, okay? So instead of just doing a one on the side, you're going to go front, front, back, front, back, side to side. And we're going to do that five times. I'm just going to do it on my right hand for time's sake. Make sure you do it both sides, okay? So here we go. Side, side, front, back. Good. Three, four, five. Next, we are going to work on some moves that we're gonna do in a stationary position. But these are moves that you're actually gonna do in the game, okay? So these are, these are your foundational ball handling moves. You have your crossover, which is just down here. Nice and smooth. You also have between the legs and behind the back. The purpose is to change direction, all right? And in basketball, when you change direction, you're doing that because you wanna create space between you and your defender. When you create that space between you and your defender, that gives you an opportunity to score. It gives you an opportunity to get a good pass off to a teammate who is then going to score. Okay, so think about it. These moves look really, really cool in the open court. They're kind of unnecessary if you're not really going anywhere. Okay, so be purposeful when you're doing a crossover. Do it with the intent to go immediately by that defender. If you're going between the legs, same thing. Do it with the intent to get that defender off balance, and you're going to see yourself creating so much more space and your shots are going to be a lot more open than they were if you're kind of just like half, half effort standing there dancing and then you try to go by them, if that makes sense. All right, so the crossover, just to get the motion, especially for the younger kids in a stationary space, we're going to start in our athletic position that we've been in all day, nice and low, chest up, and I'm just going to pass the ball back and forth, all right? Passing the ball nice and low, back and forth, it's about knee level. All right, if you get too far out here, you're asking for it to get stolen, okay? If you get too low, that could be a turnover as well because you can lose control. So we're just gonna stay right here, nice, easy pace. And when I say go, we're gonna do 10 seconds. You're gonna try to go as fast as you can under control. All right, ready? Parks, get set, go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, very good. I caught myself looking at the ball, I caught myself looking at the ground, I kept trying to look up. That's okay, as long as you're paying attention, working on keeping your eyes off the ball, that's how you improve. Okay. So that's your basic stationary crossover warm up. Next, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna switch our stance a little bit, and we're gonna bounce the ball in between our legs, okay? So it's the exact same motion, just a little bit staggered. I'm gonna start with the ball in my right hand. My right hand is gonna be behind almost behind my back. I'm gonna pass the ball to the front. Okay. In a game, you're probably not gonna do this, obviously, because you're moving around, you're trying to get through the space. But this is a good way just to start to feel, feel what it feels like, right? So kind of be low, looking around and bouncing the ball between the legs, all right? So same thing, we're gonna do nice, easy warm up, and when I say go, we're gonna do 10 seconds of hard work, okay? So, all right, here we go, ready? Nice and easy. Settle in. Get those eyes up, look around, and get ready to go hard. Three, two, one, go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good, 10 seconds of work. Make sure that you're doing that on both sides, right? So if I did that on the left side, I would just switch, move my upper body over my left leg, same exact motion. I trust that you guys will do that on your own for time's sake. We're gonna move on to our next one, which is behind the back, okay? So, we're behind the back. This is another move. You're typically gonna be doing this when you wanna change pace or you wanna change direction. Right now, in our limited space, we're gonna stay put, okay? And we're just gonna work on getting the feel of having the ball behind our back. So sometimes, you'll see, especially when you're first learning to do this drill, you'll see kids, they wanna wrap it around like that. We'll bounce it in and try to go get it. 
again, in a game, that's kind of a bad habit, right? Because if it's a carry, if you're wrapping the ball and you're dropping it around, or you're turning your back, you're not really changing speeds, and you're leaving yourself open to get the ball sold through the defender. So when you're doing a proper behind the back move that's efficient and purposeful, you're using your body as a shield. Okay, typically it's you're going really, really hard down the court, you slam on the brakes, you're low and athletic, pass the ball behind your back. Usually the defender's gonna reach and then you go by. Okay. But again, we're staying in the small space and we're just gonna work on passing the ball behind the back. All right, so this one, you wanna try to keep the ball close to your body, it's behind you. You're not super low, but you're also not standing straight up, okay? okay so we're just gonna start. I like to take one dribble to kind of gather myself before I bounce it. That way you start to get through the rhythm. So you gather, cross, gather, cross, start to speed it up. Good, once you feel comfortable, take that gather dribble away. So then you're just crossing. All right, so that's behind the back speed station, okay? So now for our last drill, we're gonna tie all three of those together. So it's your crossover, and then you're gonna go between your legs, and then you're gonna go behind your back. Okay. So that's one cycle. We're gonna try to do that 10 times. Okay. So here we go. Cross. Like with the back, behind the back, if you need to take a gather dribble before you go into your next move, that's totally fine. I'll show you that way first, and then we'll go into the smooth one. That's okay. So here we go. Cross, gather, between, gather, behind. Cross. Gather between, behind, cross. So there we go. I got rid of the gather. Cross between, behind, cross between, behind, cross between, behind. Here we go. All right, everybody. Um, thank you again for joining us. Uh, my name is Kelly Garrison. These were some basic ball handling drills that you can do in limited space. Um, again, we appreciate you all tuning in. Uh, to stay updated on class schedules and program offerings, be sure to follow Denver Parks and Recreation on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. And also go over and visit us at our website, denvergov.org slash recreation. All right, thanks. See you next time.